So I'm starting today with um, electrical engineering. Um, so I'm going to follow the uh, FE book page by page. So the first page um, is uh, regarding electrostatics. So the first problem that we have here is um, asking for x, which, which is the, uh, the distance between the two charges. Uh, charges 3 and 5. So basically trying to find x, that particular distance. And um, if you look up, um, let's take a look on page 193. Um, again, I have the 8th uh, edition, 2nd revision. So I'm not sure if they have revised it or not, but that's what I'm using. Maybe they did, maybe they didn't, but the one I have is on page 193. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, finding the distance, so the formula that I have um, is F equals Q1, Q2 over 4 pi E or epsilon R squared. Now, F is the force on charge um, 2 due to charge 1. In this case, um, F2, 3 is the charge um, on 3 due to 2, and F5, 3 is the charge um, on 3 due to 5. So R is the distance between the two charges. So in the first one, for F2, 3, we have Q2, Q3 over 4 pi epsilon. And the distance between charges F2 and 3 is, of course, 2 minus X. Alright, so we replace that. So we have 2 minus x squared. Alright, so that's equal to q5, q3 over 4 pi e. And the distance between 3 and 5 is, of course, x. So we have x squared. Alright, so from now on, it's just basic math. Trying to find x. So we have everything that we need, pretty much. Alright, so we can go ahead and cancel uh, 4 pi e, because we have it on both sides. And we are left with um, q2, q3. So let me write it down. q2, q3 times x equals q5 q3 times 2 minus x squared of course okay so we replace the value so um the charges in 2 uh, q2 is basically 2 coulombs Q3 is 3, x squared equals 5 times 3 times 2 minus x squared. So from here, it's just basic math. Alright. Okay, so we have 6x squared equals 15. Times... 2 minus x squared. Now 2 minus x squared, of course, uh, we're just going to factor uh, the value here. So we have um, 4 minus 4x plus x squared. Because we have, you know, we're using the uh, that formula where you have a minus b to the, uh, to the power of 2a minus b squared, so we have a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So a here is 2 and b is x, so we just apply that formula. So from here again, it's just math. Uh, so we have uh, 15 times 4, that's 60, and we have 15x squared and 6, so subtract that, that's 9. So you have 9x squared minus 6x plus 60 equals 0.
so factor. So x here, we are going to be having two values. We're expecting two values. Now, since the uh, exam is multiple choice, um, whatever values that we have here, whatever value that we calculate, you know, we're just going to compare it with whatever we have on the exam sheet and just choose the uh, right answer. So the two values are um, from the calculator, uh, 1.23 and x2 is 5.44 so whatever the multiple choice is you know we just choose it as value so that's it i mean pretty straightforward right okay next problem uh the question here is what is the work required to move a positive charge of 10 cm 10 coulombs for a distance of five meters um in the same direction as a unit, um, as a uniform field of 15 volt per meter. Oh, I can read my writing. But yeah, so um, again, going back to the book on the first page of page 193. Um, so what's the question here? The question is asking for work. So W. Um, on the page down, we have W is equal to minus Q integral of going from p1 to p2 point 0.1 point 0.2 p times uh, vl l here is the uh, distance so this is what yeah so that's the distance here so we're just going to integrate so this gives us all right so this is minus q times b because both of them are constants and we're going to integrate dl so dl is basically uh, going to come up to be uh, um, l between point 0.1 and point 0.2 so that's going to be p2 minus p1 and in the in the uh, problem it's given as 5 so we replace that by 5 meters and p is 10 coulombs and E is, of course, is the field, so that's 50 volt per meter. And from here, it's pretty easy, just simple math. 10 um, minus 10 times 50 times 5, that's pretty much it for this one. Alright, so the final answer is minus 2500 joules. Alright, so we have minus 10 coulombs times 50 times 50 volt per meter times 5. Alright, so that's, once again, that's minus 2500 joules. That's it. That's our final answer. Okay, um, so let's move on to the third problem for this day. Uh, okay, so the question here. So the voltage distribution between two cylinders is given by V equals 50 ln of 2.5 over R. So where R uh, varies between 0.5 centimeters to 2.5 centimeters. And the question here is at what, what radius r between the cylinders does the largest magnitude of the E field exist? So what do we have? What are we given here? We are given r distance in v so we can go ahead and then use the book or handbook and um, still I'm still on page 193 so I see the formula over there saying E equals V over D. So since uh, the question here is asking for R, I'm going to have to take the derivative of that. So um, we are going to take the derivative of the voltage distribution. So 
we have d of d over dr of 50 ln 2.5 over r. So we're going to use here twin rule because we have two functions here. We have ln function and we have 1 over r as a function here. So we're going to use chain rule. Not by parts. I don't know why um, I even wrote that, but we are taking the derivative, not um, integral. So yeah, chain rule. Not by parts. Okay, so um, we can do it from your from our memory, I guess, um, because we know that um, the derivative of ln is one over r, and the uh, derivative of one over r is minus one over r squared. So these are just um, formulas that I have memorized, but we can still use the book and the uh, math portion. The math portion is the very beginning. Um, and it's on page, let's see here, trying to find that, um, so this is, yeah, okay, so this is on page 27, I have number 12 for the Allen function, and I can't find the other one. But in any case, we should memorize that. But anyway, um, so ln of r is 1 over r. Uh, d of 1 over r is minus 1 over r squared. So, of course, we are gonna, going to take the derivative of the outside, multiply by the derivative of the inside. So the outside is, of course, ln of whatever function we have. And then from the inside is 1 over r. So we have 50 r over 2.5 times minus 2.5 over r squared. So we take out 2.5 as constant and we are left with minus 50, oops, I forgot the minus sign. Of course we have the minus sign. So um, it'll be minus 50 over r. Now the question here is what radius does the largest magnitude of the E field exist? So the largest value would be uh, when we have the smallest value of R. So the smallest value of R between 0.5 and 2.5 is of course 0.5. So the answer is R equals 0.5 centimeters. That's the answer. That's the final answer.